Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about weird vegan food that you can buy in the supermarket and giving it a jolly old taste test. So Veganuary has been and gone. This Veganuary marks the fifth year of me being vegan. I've now actually been vegan longer than I was vegetarian, which is absolutely wild to me. My life is running away before I know it. Do you know what, like the landscape of vegan products that you can find at the supermarket is changing so dramatically and so brilliantly to the point where some odd foods come out, some brands that you don't necessarily think of bring some stuff out, but you know, the more the merrier. I love to see, you know, as much vegan food in the supermarket as possible. We got vegan stuff from Frey Bentos. We've got vegan steaks, cheeseburger pizza. Honestly, an eclectic mix of stuff. I'm gonna leave timestamps down below if there's something in particular that you are interested in. And if not, enjoy the rest of the video. I wanna let you know that this, this right here is what inspired this video. I just wanna let you to take this in. You may or may not know that this existed, but this is a vegan Frey Bentos pie. A pie in a tin, wild. I had to know what it was like. When I bought this, I wanna let you know two things. One, there was dust on top. <laughs> and I got it down from the chef. And two, the lady who was working on the checkout was like, are you vegan? And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, the conversation started is a vegan Frey Bentos pie. So this is gonna be my tea tonight. We're gonna have pie, mash, mushy peas. I've also got some broccoli as well. So we're gonna have a proper slap up meal. I'm gonna give this a review. This is really working my digits. I've gotten round the outside, round the outside, round the outside, but I feel like I need to go round again. Right, 25 minutes and it goes. Here it is, steaming hot out of the oven. I mean, it, it looks cooked. Um, I was worried with all the ridges from the, we got that flaky pastry. Would Paul Hollywood be happy at it? I don't watch Bake Off, but it sounds good. Anyway, I'm just poking it now. And I've got my, my mashed peas and my uh, broccoli. But I wanna try this separately, and I also wanna make some gravy. The kettle's been boiled. So, but I wanna try this first by itself as it is. So I'm gonna sort that now before I play up a tea. Okie dokie, here we go, here we go. How much are you supposed to have? This is a really, you know, sound. So this is what we got inside, fake steak bits and some kiddly beans. Right, it's warm. So I'm acutely aware that I'm gonna burn my mouth. I'm gonna fill a bit of the filling first. Let's get a kidney bean and some, this, is, this looks hot. Like I know that they went for kidney beans for like the pay on steak and kidney pie, but will it actually work? Let's find out. I'm gonna go for a bit, a bit of pastry. A bit crunchy, but that could be to do with cooking errors. I'll fuck this right up. Look at this, this is like having nachos, but with pies. Oh. Okay, so it tastes like they've taken a standard meat pie and just shove kidney beans in it. I don't feel like the kidney beans are adding anything literally other than they're called kidney beans. I mean, I guess they're adding a bit more, they're adding a bit more sustenance to it, but I would rather them just go for the the fake steak and the gravy. That being said, the gravy in it is quite nice, quite flavorful. I like the steak pieces, taste fine. I'm gonna plate this up and have it as a full meal, but like, so far it's fine. Do you know what? It's not half bad. A vegan pie in a tin, I thought it was gonna be low down on, on the list, but actually it's cheap, it's quick to cook. I mean, I haven't looked at the nutritional value of it, but it's just easy, yo. Well, we'll say, no need for the kidney beans. I appreciate that it's like a pun. I would just ask for more of the like soy steak pieces in it. Like I just feel like, just go for like a, a steak pie. The pastry is interesting. <laughs> I don't know if this is just because of how I cooked it. So I literally did just bang it in the oven. But like it seems like the pastry is almost like in two layers. Like we've got like a really like crunchy layer and then a really like soft layer. Would I rush and buy this again? This is the question. Am I adding this to my weekly shop? No. However, if it was on offer, I'd probably buy it. I would have this lying around and then it's like a, a real fail safe because it's like in a tin. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my tea. I shall see you again soon. Hello my dudes, welcome back. Um, so this evening, I have made myself a lasagna. I just realized that my housemate has already recycled what I wanted to show you, safety first and all that. So I did want to, for this video, buy ingredients 
which sounds odd but stick with me because you can get like a bunch of like ready-made stuff but I wanted to also try something out that you use whilst making a meal. I also <laughs> would love to apologize so my best friend's boyfriend's Italian <laughs> He's gonna be offended that I bought these products, but I did. Anyway, they're both from Sakla. Um, this is their white sauce. I filmed me like making it earlier, um, and this is their bolognese sauce. I've made a lasagna, which I have never done before. This is my very first lasagna that I've ever made, and I think it's gone okay. I mean, I haven't tried it yet. So already, I usually wouldn't have bought like this type of bolognese sauce anyway, and actually I feel like this is not enough. <laughs> So I just made my own bolognese sauce. I'll put up a video of me making it right now. I don't sense this going very well onto this plate, but you know, I have faith, haven't I? <gasps> oh, look at that. I'm a pro. <laughs> I shan't lie to you. I am, I'm pretty proud of that. Look at it. It's a lasagna. Oh my God, it took so much time, but look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is warm. <laughs> and I let it cool down as well before I um, cut it up. Let's go for it. That's really good. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> What's funny is when I was cooking it, like when I was like getting it ready, I was chatting to my housemate and we were sort of saying how we probably wouldn't buy the bolognese sauce. I probably wouldn't buy the bolognese sauce again. Unless you want something like super duper quick, but lasagna is not a quick meal. But the white sauce, I probably would purchase again. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so thumbs up, it's a big thumbs up. I've not had lasagna in literally forever. And it tastes great. So, see you again soon. Good evening, everybody. Today, we are back again to taste some weird vegan shit. So this has been around a little while. This is not new. Um, I've already recycled the label. Hang on, hold please, hold please. Um, it's the Vivera Steaks. Now, I'm unsure if I've tried any Vivera products before. I think there are most supermarkets readily available, but they do these like straight up steaks they kind of look a little bit like burgers when you really think about it but you know we'll give it a go full disclosure i never was a quote-unquote steak person like the idea of like just like a cut of meat like a steak a pork chop lamb chop whatever was never my vibe take from that what you will i'm gonna fry these up and review it i've got some chippies some homemade chips because that's what you have with steaks right oh my god oh I fucked it, it's got my glasses as well, hang on. So I'm gonna get frying and we can try them together. Okie dokie, so here it is. I feel like the beans make it less demure. Oh shoot, I meant to get my hot sauce, hold sec. Don't worry, the gang's all here now. But yeah, as I was saying, I feel like the beans make this less of a demure meal, but I wanted beans, so I'm gonna have beans, but I will try from this side. I wanna like try it by itself and then douse it in hot sauce to be perfectly honest with you anyway so let me chop us up a little bit it did say to fry it for eight to nine minutes which the outside is now i want to say charred i did like you know keep moving it in that that's what we're working with there let's go for it shall i hmm i mean what you need to remember first and foremost it's been 10 years since i ate beef so <laughs> I don't know if I'm the right person to tell you how beef-like it is, but I don't think it's very beef steaky. It's a bit more hammy than beefy, I think. But it doesn't taste bad. I just don't think it's like the ultimate meaty one. That being said, it's a very similar texture to like the no bull ones, which you can get at Iceland, or the grow ones that you can get at co-op. It very much, I'm gonna cut you another bit so you can look. It's very similar texture-wise to all of those type of burgers so here's the deal i would buy these if they were on offer i'm not rushing out to have them again though like they're nice enough i wanted to cook it just plain like literally just fry it bit of oil that was it particularly because they come a little bit more i would say gooey but they're not very solid there's like some burgers that come quite 
solid and you can't really necessarily like season them. I think these ones you would be able to. So, you know, if you were somebody who was really, I know like Wicker Kitchen do like rubs and stuff like that. So you could really like church it up if you wanted to. And I am gonna put some Frank's hot sauce on it, literally right now as we talk. Um, it's fine. It's not terrible. It's fine though. And I think it's more of a burger than a steak. I know that Plant Chef do like a big steak, which you know, if I do another one of these videos, I could try that no problem. It's fine. I'm not I'm not gonna hate eating it. Like it's not a chore for me to eat, but it's not something to write home about, I don't think. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I shall see you again soon. It's dinner time and we're gonna try the spinach and roasted tomato vegan quiche from Higa Tea. I'm gonna have it cold because I'm more of a, a cold quiche type of gal and I don't have anything to have with it. I would usually like have like a salad or something or like buffet sit chew but I'm just eating a quiche so I'm gonna cut myself a slice and let's get tasting. Here we go. It's tasty. It's tasty. It's got like the lightness, like the, the light and airiness that you would get from a quiche. I wouldn't say it's like particularly eggy or anything though. It's really good though. I think I'm just gonna have half a quiche for dinner. <laughs> I did have one of the roasted tomatoes, so like those are really good, but they're like separate on the top. And then the spinach is like within the sort of, I don't know if I can show you, like the mixture. Like it, it's got like a, like a filling. Cause like when I'm thinking of a quiche, I'm thinking of like a cheese and onion quiche. It's quite like egg based, whereas this doesn't really seem to have that. I think it'd be really good for lunch though. I think it's like a really nice light lunch sort of option. Neither the spinach nor the tomato are overpowering. They're both sort of in tandem working their magic, working together. Yeah, I think the crust itself is really nice. I was worried that it would just kind of be like a pie without a top on, which arguably a quiche is kind of like a pie without a top on, that's an egg pie, but it does have some really inherent quiche qualities. I'm a fan. I'm gonna have another quarter of it <laughs> and call that dinner. <laughs> Hi guys, for the finale of this video, we have arguably the hardest item that I wanted to try to get hold of, but I made a special trip for this Morrison's exclusive. Are you ready? I don't think you are. Chicago Town's vegan cheeseburger pizzas. I wish I was making this up. Deep dish pizza specialists, Chicago Town have released some of their like mini pizzas. Now these hold a special place in my heart. So I'm just gonna put you down. Uh, these hold a special place in my heart because, here I am. Um, when I was like, I don't know, 12, 13, I would often have these as like an after school snack, like either like the ham and pineapple ones, the pepperoni, the cheese and tea, you know, really these, were a staple in my preteen diet. <laughs> and they look disgusting. Um, so these ones, uh, I, yeah, I think they're literally the same thing. So you can oven cook them, but preteen Alice wasn't mucking around with that because you can also microwave them and that is how we're cooking them today. One thing I will note about Chicago Town, calorically dense. I had one of their barbecue jackfruit pizzas the other day so many cake owls. Arguably too many. Anyway, if you've not seen one of these, <laughs> I haven't had one of these in years. This is what they look like. They're sort of personal sized pizzas. Um, and as I said, shove them in the microwave. We'll just double check how long we put them in for. Three minutes, stand for a minute. Now what I used to do is I would take a fork and I would scrape all the toppings off eat the toppings, then fold the bread and eat that, which is um, disgusting if we really think about it. Because the thing is, is like, even if you, I ate it how I used to, like eating this with a knife and fork, that's like, that's, this is like handheld piz, you know? Anyway, but then, because I feel like a little slice would be weird. I'm trying to act like I'd be bougie with a frozen pizza that's, over 400 calories by the way this is 431 so anyway i'm gonna pop this in the microwave and see how we feel i need you to look at these this is it still frozen but it's got bits of cheeseburger on <laughs> 
dinner is served. <laughs> I need you to know that this smells utterly heinous. We've really, we have really got the uh, weird fake dairy smell. <laughs> this smells bizarre. Gonna let it stand for a minute and then think it's best which way <laughs> to tackle this. Oh, I thought I'd go for a Diet Coke, you know, really go for the body as a temple vibes that I'm going for here, but I feel like I'm putting this off. <laughs> I just gave it a squish. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a little slice. Oh, they got, oh, they're on how man overboard. All right. <sighs> Bottoms up, guys. favorite thing I've tried this uh, this week, I'll be honest. The sauce is nice. The cheese is weird. Let me eat a little bit of the the cheeseburger bits. Okay, they're a bit weird, exclusively on their own. They do have an innate cheeseburger, well, burgeriness to them, as opposed to them just being like fake meat bits. They do have like burgerness. I'm doing what I used to do. <laughs> She used to eat tomato cheesy topping. There we go. Mm. Disgusting. What a fucking time to be alive. All around, quite an unpleasant experience. <laughs> what I love is the like, where the ridge of like the side is. Nice and uncooked, you know? <laughs> How would I rate that experience? That was not good. <laughs> Put it. Do you know what? I knew that they wouldn't be great, but I was just so intrigued. I was like, I really need to put my mouth where my mouth is and give this a go. Listen, if you want to eat some weird shit, go for it. I prefer their takeaway standard size pizzas. Would recommend those at uh, infinitely higher, better quality. Eat half of it and have a salad with it, you know? That. I felt like I was almost eating the Velcro pizza. If like the Velcro pizza was Frankenstein's monster and brought to life. What a way to end this video. What a way. The tomato sauce tasted good. There was a good amount of toppings. It's vegan. Th the base <laughs> was like uncooked bread. The little bits of cheeseburger just kind of felt like animal ligaments just shit them in my mouth so that was tasty they peppered on a little bit of lol bell pepper i think just kind of church it up a bit unnecessary uh, we all know what we're getting into if we're eating something called a cheeseburger pizza and the cheese is a bit weird what's interesting is if you were to ask me to review their big ones i would say there's not enough cheese on it but if that's the cheese that they're using that was like swimming in it and there we have it everybody so uh, you might be thinking what about stuff from restaurants and all that stuff like that never you fear in a fortnight's time you are gonna see a video of me doing just that similar context but restaurant food so make sure you hit subscribe if you're interested in vegan food and i look forward to seeing you again soon bye